Okay, folks, get this. Get ready for this deep dive. You ready? Uh, yeah, hit me. Taylor Swift, right? America's sweetheart, right? Yeah. The CIA. Wait, what? I know, I know. It sounds nuts, right? But there are sources, credible, well, they claim to be, saying some pretty wild stuff about her, about how she got so huge, so fast, like unbelievably huge. Okay, now you've got my attention. Who are these sources? What are they saying? So we're talking Randy Edward Marsh and Gerald David Bratislava saying they were tight, tight with Swiss management team. Okay. And get this, they're claiming that Taylor's whole... What did they call it? Glow up? <laughs> yeah, from country to pop. Yeah. It wasn't just her, like, you know, evolving as an artist. Right. It was the CIA. The CIA. But, come on. I'm serious. They're claiming the CIA was calling the shots, making her this global, like, icon. Hold on, hold on. Icon, sure. But are they saying why? What does the CIA get out of Taylor Swift? Like, what's the end game? And here's the even crazier part. They're saying they were there for it. Yeah. Like, in the room for actual CIA briefings, getting directions on how to manage her career. Okay, before we go full conspiracy theory, I mean, that's a huge accusation. We need to consider the source oh, here. Oh, right, absolutely. What's their deal? Why are they coming forward now? What proof do they have? It's easy to make claims, you know? Okay, you're right, you're right. Yeah. So, about these guys, Marsh and Bratislava, they're saying they were practically joined at the hip with Swift's dad, James Taylor, who they claim was like the mastermind or something. Interesting. Yeah. And get this, they say they've got proof, like hard evidence, documents, audio recordings, the whole nine yards. Mm. Okay, so anyone can say they have evidence. The big question is, can it be verified? Can it be independently corroborated? We can't just take their word for it. Right, but let's just say, hypothetically, that there is something to it. What could the CIA possibly want with Taylor Swift? Well, let's think about that. I oh. mean, this wouldn't be the first time the CIA has dabbled in, let's say cultural engineering. Remember back in the Cold War, they were backing abstract expressionist painters, Pollock, de Kooning, the whole crew. Yeah, to combat Soviet propaganda or something like exactly. that. Exactly. They wanted to showcase American creativity, freedom of expression. You know the deal. Right, right. Okay, I see where you're going with this. And this is where it gets really interesting, okay? These guys, Marsh and Bratislava, they keep mentioning this Obama-era law, the smith munt Modernization Act. It basically loosened the rules on domestic propaganda. Propaganda. Like aimed at Americans. Exactly. Makes Unborn. you think, right? So in today's world with social media and global superstars, mm -hmm. is it so crazy to think that someone like Taylor Swift could be a tool of, let's call it, soft power? Wow. I mean, that's a little unsettling to think about. But then again, stranger things have happened, right? Well. And speaking of strange, their exit from Swift's management, it was a mess. I mean, a complete and utter disaster. Marsh gets stranded in Russia, Bratislava ends up in Laos. Come on, you can't make this stuff up. And it all goes down, allegedly, around the time of, remember that whole Travis Kelce thing? Wait, really? During that whole, okay, yeah. It makes you wonder, right? I mean, it could be totally unrelated or Maybe they stumbled onto something they weren't supposed to. Something that made their position, well, let's just say, a little too hot. Man, this is giving me chills. Yeah. So what are we supposed to make of all of this? It's too crazy to believe, but then again, what if there's something there? Honestly, I don't know. But here's what I do know. Why now? Why would these guys come forward with this story now, after all this time? That's a good question to keep in mind. Are they trying to, you know, cash in on this? Or are they blowing the whistle on something huge, something we should all know about? Yeah, yeah, good point. Whether this story turns out to be true or completely bonkers, it really makes you think, doesn't it? About who's controlling the information we see, about how much of what we consume is actually just, you know, cleverly disguised propaganda. It's a scary thought. Man, it really is. And how do we even begin to find the truth in all of this noise? It's a question we all need to be asking ourselves. Absolutely. Well, folks, there you have it, our deep dive into the utterly bizarre world of Taylor Swift and the CIA. What do you think? Are Martian Bratislava telling the truth, or is this just a publicity stunt? Let us know.